everybody i'm gonna present you today how to make a life hack out of this uh, power bank yeah you heard it right how to improve it basically to give you some useful power and uh, so on so we do have this power bank from pound world it uh, did cost exactly one pound these are more less quality than the, the one in pound world the other one had a better uh, chip inside it but this one they're gonna do the trick as well so you do have this cord inside the package you have the charging cable of stuff and actually power bank itself you know they come in various shapes and sizes colors and so on We have some technical issues, but I'm gonna do a trick. As you can see here, on the label is uh, 1200 milliamps, which is more overrated. This one doesn't have this much power, but still, it has a uh, useful power. You can power like USB small devices, like this light you can see here. Uh, you can charge your phone, not all the way through, but nearly there like 50% or something like that you can also power um, GPS auto GPS like this one you see I'm gonna power it just now you see it's turning on so definitely some <clears throat> energy is going into the GPS but not that much so stay tuned I'm gonna show you now how to improve this one and how to increase his capacity and uh, to have a, at least a chance to charge your phone 80 percent so stay tuned life hack useful life hack of the power bank coming up next stay tuned all right friends we are back we're gonna clear the table here and we're gonna proceed by opening this um, USB power bank inside one of these there is a 18650 lithium ion rechargeable battery uh, but because they try to keep this price as low as possible inside one of these um, is gonna be a battery which has the capacity between 800 and 1000 milliamps which is not that bad still is useful power so um now to open it you can see this is the front with a power bank written here and you're gonna twist it to the back and we're gonna try to open this cover very easy just you're gonna need a screwdriver or something pointy like i'm using here and that's about it you can see here i got some clips inside little bit hard to open but we did manage without destroying it and inside here friends there is this is the circuit board and this is the battery i'm gonna proceed to take it off as you can see in one of these by the way they are made by uh, signal x which is not that bad no use for phones, mp3 player, charger and all or other small USB devices as well as in Spanish on the back cargador modular compatible con la mayorita de telefonos instrucciones del uso and so on friends yeah this is the, the circuit board yeah this is the battery we're gonna proceed by uh, first of all first things first this one from what I tested and uh, I know friends so we are back as i told you we have these two power banks you know we can strip them out so what's left us to do now we can do two things we can cut these wires join them together together in parallel and with a switch in between them 
because I told you earlier, you know, the problem of this one on standby, they are um, wasting a lot of a lot of current. Or we can put two switches, one in between the the power to battery and one in between or the two negative or the two positive. So in this case, we're gonna have a pass through charge or and uh, we, we we're gonna be able to charge them separately and after that just discharge them just in one or put them just remove this part and connect the battery to to the first one so we're gonna do it this time we're gonna just add this battery to just one uh, charger so let's choose one we're gonna choose this one so this is remaining and we're gonna proceed by cutting the wires let's see we're gonna cut this wire right here and we're gonna try to save as much as we can from the second one there you go so we did cut this wire we're gonna see about the second one we're gonna cut them approximately the same all right and this one we're gonna cut them in half more or less so this is the charger and this is the battery we're gonna proceed now by stripping the wires that should be enough come on okay this one the same thing this there and the second one so we're gonna put them now in parallel just simple as that we're gonna join these two cables as so and after that we're gonna solder them in place and with a positive we're gonna do the same thing just join them together as close as we can and after that we're gonna sort them out and possible isolate them from the the other parts of the battery okay now we're gonna proceed by putting some holes into the old cases and stuff we're gonna be back all right folks we are back we did manage to cut some holes into the the two cases of the power banks now we're gonna slide the battery to see how they're gonna fit and after that we're gonna proceed by soldering the wires as you can see now we did manage to for the negative is all right but for the positive we have to make another cut a little bit up as you can see now the cut is all the way down so we're gonna cut it one more time now i have soldered the wire in position What's left us to do is sort of the, the controller and to put the caps back. <clears throat> As you can see now, we have managed to um, solder the wires. Now we're gonna proceed by isolating them and put them back into place. All right, folks, so we are back. We did manage to assemble it back into his original position. Now we're gonna put the caps on it's gonna struggle a little bit force it in yeah needs more adjustments uh, come on they're gonna stay in properly but it's gonna do the job there we have it folks now we're gonna put uh, the last one in hopefully this one is gonna stay right one needs to be done some minor adjustments some glue gun if it's nothing then the glue gun cannot fix so it's nearly there but we're gonna need some glue gun here and there so 
There you have it folks, at this moment it doesn't look pretty, but it's gonna do the job. <clears throat> so now you have twice the capacity, it's gonna give you a chance to charge your phone properly. And you don't have to worry that these power banks, you know, they're not doing the job and uh, they're not charging your phone. So let's try it straight away. Let's see. Come on to end. Okay. Let's see. Let's try folks, as you can see, very slowly here, it's charging, so it's working, you have twice the capacity, and now it's gonna be able to charge your phone. Let's test it with a small flashlight, in the meanwhile, yep, so there you have it folks, it's gonna be bulky at this moment, but we need to rethink all the stuff, but for the moment, this one does the job, it says twice the capacity, it's gonna take a little bit longer to charge it, but I do have some idea how to improve this one next week, and we're gonna make some, maybe, maybe we're gonna make some power charging station for all these lithium ion batteries that are inside the, the power bank. Till the next time, stay tuned, and thanks all for watching, see you, bye bye!